What's going on guys? Welcome to Rat or Rot. Today we're going to be talking about winterizing your motorcycle. Yes, it's that time of year, especially if you're in the Midwest where it gets cold, the snow stuff comes. I don't like saying that word, it's gross. <laughs> but it's important to make sure that when you put your bike away, you do it the right way. So we're going to dig in a few different steps to make sure when the next spring comes, you go to hit that switch, the bike's going to fire up for you, it's going to run, you're going to be all right. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is going to be your fuel stabilizer. Now this is a Harley brand, there's obviously other brands out there. What I always recommend, what I do is I fill my gas tank pretty much all the way full. On the bottom will tell you how much to pour in, pour it in there, let the bike run for like five minutes, let it circulate, and then from that point, next spring when you come get the bike, go hit that switch, the fuel's going to want to fire, and you'll be good to go. So fuel stabilizer, number one thing. The next thing is going to be a trickle charger, a battery tender, whatever you want to call it. What this will do is batteries don't like cold weather, obviously. I'm sure you guys have had your car, truck, whatever it may be, um, lawnmower. Through the winter time, you know, that cold's going to get to that battery. With a tender, what it's going to do is basically run a trickle charge to the battery. So there's a constant charge to it. If it reads it that it's the battery's fine, then it'll actually kick off and yeah. It's not a constant charge, but it's going to make sure the battery's nice and healthy. So when you do go hit that switch that next spring, you're going to have juice to the bike. Now, I always personally, like every month, what I usually do is I fire them up, let them run for a little while, let the fluid circulate, you know, warm the motor up to operating temperature. Just it's a peace of mind to me. I know guys that don't do that. Shit, I know people who pull batteries out of their bikes in the wintertime. It's up to you what you want to do. These are just a few things that I do that I've never had a problem with my bikes starting that next spring. Hey guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you could go ahead and hit that subscribe button, the more love I can get, the more content I can push out for you guys. Now back to the video. Now the next thing isn't a must, but it's something that is always a good idea to do. And that is to change your fluids before you store the bike. So basically you're getting rid of all the contaminants inside there. You're pulling out the old oil filter and just gonna have clean fluids sitting in that bike through however many months the bike's going to sit. So either way, it's up to you how you wanna do that. The next thing is how you store the bike. And now if you have a lift, put it up on the lift, get the wheels off the ground. Now, if you don't have that, Put the bike on a rubber mat, on a like a piece of carpet or something like that. Don't use cardboard, don't use foam, because all that's gonna do is hold moisture and help your tires start cracking. You don't want that. So always put the bike on something to keep the moisture from you know settling in there. Now along with that, every month when I go fire the bikes up, I will roll the bike forward or backward to keep from getting flat spots on the tire, because in time it, it can happen. Either way. Those are a few things that I usually do myself, along with covering the bike up to make sure dust and debris and stuff like that doesn't get on it. A lot of people overthink what the bike's gonna do through the winter time. I mean, I've had people, and I've seen people store their bikes outside in the elements through the winter and go back out and fire it up that next spring and be perfectly fine. Like, I, it's crazy to do that. I, I love my stuff. When you go to trade your bike in or sell the bike, me working in a dealer life like I did for as long as I did, you could tell when bike sat outside and was in the elements. So take care of your stuff and uh, yeah, keep your bike good to go. I hope that answers some questions. If you guys got any other questions, throw them in the comment section below. And of course, give me that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, let's get to the next thing. Get out and ride your motorcycle. <laughs> 